Hey, shoot one in the dirt. <laughs> it shoots pretty daggone nice, and it it's definitely less recoil than the than the Glock. <laughs> What's up, bangers? <laughs> Dread Dum Dum come back at you again. Shoot. Man, got it. Shoot. Right. Here, listen. Yeah, it's supposed to be the bell. Boy. We can't remember bring a bell or nothing else. We're about dumb as they come. We got to we admit it. We got a ditch going through here. It's got water deep. running through here. We're standing out in the middle of the desert, it seems like. Show them what, tell them what you're doing, dummy. So what this is said. this has already been on. Uh, Why do you say that? Who gives a shit? We haven't done it yet. Well, I know, but I'm saying. Okay, well then don't say that. I was blown away. I'll show them to you here in a second. I was blown away. Our uh, buddy John, Chipe, John, John again. Justin. Um, he he. Uh, you all saw the High Point C9 video. If you haven't, we did a High Point C9 video a while back. Um, so High Point, you know, they got a they got a C9, they got a 45, they got a. Uh, nine millimeter obviously they got a 380 they got a 40 um and they just came out with this gun uh, i don't know a couple couple two or three months ago or here's what it reminds me of it's like where it's like uh when you were in high school you know you had to have nike shoes or you had to have adidas shoes or you had to have a name brand shoe but then they had starter shoes at walmart yeah that were okay but I still wouldn't be seen in a starter shoes. So I still Correct. Not, yeah, you would, I would yeah. still not have a high point. I'm, yeah. I'm just being honest. Just that's exactly how I feel. Okay, so I, I'm, we're going to compare them and say what we think. But in all honesty, it's I guess there again, it's a reputation thing. Yeah, yeah. That's the. It's kind of the. Uh, well, if you saw the Kentucky Ballistic Scott did a pretty funny intro to this. He had it in his backpack and he put it down and started to pull it out and somebody said, what, is that a high point? And he put it back in you can't be seen with it. You know, that was pretty good. Exactly. Pretty, pretty good. But he's, he's on the same page. But anyways, uh, this came out, I don't know, a few months ago. It's called the um, High Point Firearms uh, Model JXP and it's chambered in 10 millimeter. And they're made in Mansfield, Ohio and there's a lifetime warranty on these things. Good God, it's you could beat somebody to death with it. Yeah, I don't know the specs on it. I guarantee the thing weighs four pounds. Yeah, go to the go to the website to see the specs. I think the barrel's almost five inches long. It's got a rail. It uh, actually does have a threaded barrel. Um, you gonna show them the close up of it? Yeah, I'll show them the close ups. What do you call that? A I gotta show you the B roll. The B roll. I gotta show you the B roll. Yeah. So, let's see if I can get you up here with this. You mean Galloway, so it doesn't focus on me? Actually, I think it's doing a doing a fine job. Pretty decent job right now. So they did a little bit of stippling and stuff on the handle for you to make it a little fancier. Got a rail. It's cute. And so you then just bought that brand new from brand new right out of the shop, huh? One hundred and eighty dollars. One hundred and eighty bucks. Wow. So that's, that's like it, a sore right? Peter. You can't beat it. So a horrible trigger. Um, plastic frame. I mean, it's. It's heavy. I don't know. Yeah, very heavy. You all let very us know heavy. how much this thing weighs. Okay. I guarantee it weighs three and a half pounds. There's that. And then here's your Gen 3. Everybody knows what it is. Gen 3 Glock 20, 10 millimeter. Good old fashioned Glock, completely stock. Yeah, but it's hard to beat that. It's hard to beat a Glock. It's almost that. This is like the size of a 17. But completely stock. Yeah, but that's a full size Glock, right? Double stack. Right? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, this is a full size. Well, that's, we haven't got to that part yet. So they're, oh, they're, sorry. um, High Point only makes them in this size in a 10 millimeter. You know, they just came out with it this year in 20, is it 20? Yeah, I guess 2023. And then, uh, the Glock 20, I don't Why know. Why are how, you out of breath? What are you doing? Is that trying my, to run? I was holding my breath, holding the freaking things behind the camera. <laughs> but trying to get, trying to give you all a good shot. Yeah. And but, you're going to have yourself a heart attack in the process. I don't know what year the 20 came out. This is Gen 3. Um, Amy actually got me this used for Christmas. Used? Yeah, like six or seven years ago. I can't remember. But So I thought, ever since we did that C9 video, that blew me away. I think the only place for a high point... Have uh, you shot that before? This one? That anything through it? No. Brand new, huh? Yeah, nothing. With the high point and, the amp and 100 rounds of ammo. Uh, this is 10 millimeter, 180 grain. The ammo costs more than a gun. 180 grain uh, TMC, uh, just a 
just ball ammo, just junk, yeah. brass casing, and uh, I think everything was two hundred and eighty dollars, two hundred and seventy dollars. I thought you said it was one hundred and eighty. It was. How Either. much was the ammo? Forty a piece. Son of a man. Yeah, forty for fifty rounds. But right in the pill pipe. So my thing for this is, I uh, I've told you all before, but I got those C9s uh, everywhere in the house just because they're a cheap. Um, I always, just in case that don't kill him, you're gonna have these sitting in the background. No, this one's going in the boat. Oh, this one's going in the boat. So I got all I this. Need a 10 millimeter in the boat. I got all the C9s around the house, so all what the. Do you think like a, a, a sea or a, a, what is that? A sea creature is gonna attack you? No, it's better to be prepared and not be prepared. I guess you're right. The uh, I got all the C9s around the house because all the mags are interchangeable. So. How many C9s you have around the house? Two. Six. six. What? Six. Yeah, six of them. And I got. But that's the horrible thing. Justin, you are a retard. Why would you go out and buy all those guns? Every entrance, and they're all less than hundred dollars a piece. So I got. So basically, I got six hundred dollars, and you could have had a new Glock. And you could have had one Glock. <laughs> I don't care. What I'm getting at is the C9 shoot every time. Every one of them never had one misfire. I don't know what will. We got enough Glocks to put each one by the door too. So that was just an excuse to go buy a gun. Well, my my excuse for it is is if something happens, you get broken into, all your crap will get stolen, and I don't want expensive stuff getting stolen. I want hundred dollar guns getting stolen. That's what that was my excuse for it. And if they work, I'd rather have a hundred dollar gun get stolen than a five thousand dollar one. If you're in my house, I'd rather you steal Nikes than you would a pair of starters. Well, that's the starter tennis shoes. I don't care. I'm not gonna have guns sitting, you know what I mean? Just like just like he said, he's put it back in the backpack. Yeah. This hide, thing hide that thing. Well, I guess we need to shoot it, but I guess it really don't matter if you shoot somebody with it though. They no, that's that, that's what I'm getting at. If if for, for home protection, I mean my gosh, you can have six C9s versus one clock. You know what I mean? But you gotta leave them at home. You can't take them out in public. No, you can't take them out. And I'll tell you what, if you put a holster on that thing, have your britches dragging the ground. Yeah. Because I, I, I would love to know you all are gonna tell us in the comments what that thing weighs, but. Yeah, I don't know what it's, it weighs. Well, it's gotta help the recoil. Well, that, that, and then. Maybe, see, maybe it'll shoot nice. 100% of the time, I am carrying. You know, I'm carrying 100% like this. You all seen it before as a lifeguard. That's my. This is what my gym outfit. That's what I carry. My gym but, outfit. Like even when we go to the lake, I'm carrying, but it's a pain in the ass. You know, I got a truck gun, obviously. A Glock 27 stays in the truck, and when you, and then I also have my carry gun on too. But when you're going to the lake, then you got to transfer your carry to the boat. You're in swim trunks. It's a pain in the ass. So it's nice just to have a gun in a place already. And plus, if this thing gets all rusty and takes a crap, then it doesn't matter as long so as. What you do you do with your carry? Just put it in the truck, so then the truck has two guns in it. Uh. Yeah, carry. Uh, see, it's weird. The lake thing is weird. I, I can do a whole video on that. The lake is weird because I wear, I wear, I wear cargo pants a lot. Like this is his outfit 100% of the time through the summer, and I wear, I wear cargo shorts is what I wear with a carry belt or, and, and a gun. But um, it's just when you get to the lake, you change at the boat storage unit, and by the time you change, then you're in swim trunks, and then all you got is this, and then you got a 22 in your pocket, and you got one little single with shot. one shot. Yeah. So. That's why I thought. And you own every gun known, known to man, just about. But you only that's what you're carrying. So that's where that's I think sense. high points shine. It's because how cheap they are. But the thing about this video is it comes. You went from boat thing to where they shine. Well, what I'm, I'm getting. Confused. That's because this one's going in the boat. They, when money doesn't, you know what I mean? I know obviously $150. I try to buy them used. It's going to cost you more fuel carrying that thing around for what it weighs. So, so I got literally um, in those six guns less than $600. So I try to buy them used when they're in the cabinet. If they're like, you know, 60 bucks or less, I'll buy them and, and just throw them around. But this one has a- stepped it up and bought a new one, didn't you? This one has a threaded barrel, and I got a story for that. A Wilson Combat threaded barrel. So the Wilson Combat's already like a $4,500 gun. And I called them about one to, we haven't done a video on that. Um, we'll do a video eventually, but about having a threaded barrel added to it. Wilson Combat, you have to ship the gun to them and they fit the barrel to the gun. You know what I mean? Like an old junk Glock like this, you just buy a $200 barrel and you put it in there and then you got a, you got a threaded barrel. Well, Wilson, you gotta send it to them. It's an eight month to a 12 month turnaround. They send the gun back to you and that whole process costs like $800. Let's do that. You can buy, you can I freaking buy a crap load of these things, but this thing comes with a threaded barrel. So right out of the box, 180. 600 no threaded barrel they both got rails they both got believe it or not the glock doesn't this the high point has uh adjustable sights so adjustable sight i'm thinking right off the bat and the cool thing about the i guess i'll here real quick i told you all we got we've, we've had stuff coming for months cool thing about the high point is wait a minute i'm not going to show you all this after you already did no, I mean, Oh, 
You're not supposed to show them that? Oh my gosh, alter this. Is that? So that's a dead air that ghost. That even makes it more heavier. Or heavier. How's that work? So this is a dead air uh, ghost 45 uh, suppressor. And I think that's another cool thing about a high point is you buy a $600 Glock, you got to spend another $200 on a on a uh, threaded barrel to make it like this. But today, I wasn't thinking of it until we got done. This isn't subsonic ammo. This is all supersonic. It says the the, uh, the velocity is a, a be louder, 1190. So it's a 1,190 feet a second. So we'll It'll be a little louder. Yeah. So we'll shoot the Glock and and show you all how loud it is. I'm kind of interested to see what the recoil is going to be on that high point. I mean, I'll be honest with you. With it being that heavy, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be that much of a recoil, I would not think. Another thing is, stock clock mag, 10 millimeter, holds 15. The high point holds 10. Ooh, that's a downer, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so whenever you have a high point, you gotta get extra mags. Mm -hmm. Somebody breaks in the house, you can't hit them with 10, you might as well hang it up. But that can be my problem, that's why I use a shotgun. Yeah, we haven't done a video, we guys still gotta do a video on that for y'all. You know, what are we doing a video on? Home defense, the best home defense gun. Hard to beat a shotgun. Aim in a direction and shoot. That's what I always say. How many you got there? Mm, this one is full. Is that one more? Ten? Maybe one more. I don't know. Let's see. Does this, does, you think this magazine feels better yeah, it than should the, be that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that should be this one. Everything about a high point is junk. The magazines suck, but if they freaking work, I don't but I mean, if the the one that the nine millimeter we had, remember the thing was all loose, and this one feels actually it's actually feels like it's in there pretty good and tight. I don't know yeah. if I showed him the mag in that or not. Feels like it's in there good and tight. Wait, man, it's focused on your head. Oh. So that's the mag for it, ten rounder, and then you got your got your Glock. Okay. So got your Glock. And we're fancy today. We're fancy. And we got a... Third put your, third put your ears in. Not with this one, you don't. That's another cool thing about the high point. Well, you don't need your ears for that. You don't need no ears for that. Today, we got something special for y'all. We've been holding off camera 12 minutes in. The video starts around 13 minutes. Just to let y'all know. The We're going to show you our new shooting range. Here's Look our, at that. There's our shooting range. How nice is that? <laughs> So we'll come to... We are stepping up to, with the big boys here. We got some Unistrut. We got the camera crooked. But you know what? Look at the a, headland sideways. It fell down. It fell down. Okay. So, um, Trey, pick up the, the Glock and shoot it real quick. See what you think about it. See what I think about it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if the best the best angle for this is right off the bat how much cooler is it to shoot steel I like it it's a lot better than shooting clay pigeons all right we're clear now try the high point you want with that with that thing on it yeah shoot it with a suppressor Man, it's like a donkey dick. It is uh, very heavy. <laughs> like almost ridiculously heavy. Go in Loaded there? halfway decent. Now, like I said, it's it's not subsonic ammo, so it's gonna be somewhat. Wow. Hey, shoot, hey, shoot, hey, shoot one in the dirt. <laughs> it shoots pretty daggone nice and it. It's definitely less recoil than the than the Glock. <laughs> well, it has to be because it weighs 50 pounds. I want to show you that real quick so you can you can hear the difference. So Which one do you want to shoot? Look at this. I'll show you the. So we'll go just a couple. Look how dirty it's made that magazine already. Wow. I tell you what. But I mean, like I said, as heavy as that thing is, it better not have any recoil. The, the Glock definitely has a lot more kick, recoil, whatever you want to call it, but it's it's four pounds lighter too, you know? Okay, so I got 10 in the Glock. Okay. The difference on camera is unbelievable how much louder it got when you were shooting the steel suppressed. It's not, it's a little, man, it's warm. Woo! Wonder why. She's warm, boys. Okay. 
that's the first time that suppressor's been shot. We literally, I think we got the stamp back on it mm, about three or four weeks ago. Where do you want me at? Back here listening to it? No, you can. In yeah, the background? Can... Yeah, we'll just see if. Uh... So, a good way to do this is like this. See, that See, crack. it always loads weird. So, look at this. Here's, I'm gonna go in the dirt. Unsuppressed, clock. Suppressed. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> so, it's still subsonic, or still supersonic ammo, so it's still somewhere. So if you had subsonic, she'd be quiet. But, you can shoot without ears. Ooh. Oh, did uh -oh. fire, misfire? Uh oh. What a hunk oh, of shit. Oh, I might have put the safety oh, on. Oh, you put the safety on. What a ass bag. My thumb raised it up a little That's bit. That's kind of shitty. That's a shitty place for safety then, isn't it? Huh. That sounds neat, though. That's louder. That sounds neat. I'm out. I don't have my ears in, but... When you hear that, when you hear that echo down through the thing, it just kind of, it makes all, it's, it really sounds good. Back too. Still a little bit, a little bit dirty. And that suppressor's hot too. Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll go to the lock. I'm standing behind the camera taking a piss. By the way, I had to pee. Sounds like you're. Sounds I'll like you're what, playing some music. The the difference. So, for instance, we did another video on the BellLife.com uh, with some metal signs and cut my. We cut our hands up on accident. Yeah, like on accident, like it's sucked all week since we've done that mess. Believe it or not, the I mean, the, the trigger, you know, it feels terrible. But for comfort, this thing actually is a little bit more comfortable than the Glock. Yeah, because it's big and heavy. Yeah. And there's no recoil to it, which is what I like. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it still loads kind of crappy, the way it loads and... Putting one in the chamber, I don't know. It loads way different than the Glock, and I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Show this thing. This freaking suppressor is hotter than a firecracker. Okay, and that's the, the dead air ghost that we talk. Oh, I think it's focused on your head again. Wait a minute. Let me get your head out of the way. There you go. That's the dead air ghost 45. Dead air ghost. Dead air ghost. Dead air ghost. Uh, it's all right there, boys. Looks good, doesn't it? But, and then the threads on this thing are, uh, what are those things? Five, seven by 20. What are these things? I can't remember. Did I tell you? Yeah, you can change the, uh, whatever this is called. The Aaron's probably laughing at me. I can't remember. Uh, over at uh, Spider Arms, that's where we get all our. Clips. You got the, the. You mean the female end? Yeah, you can change this part right here. It's got a. It's got a name you mean to on it. On the gun or on the actual. No, on the on the suppressors because you can shoot 45 ACP all the way down to 22 out of this as long as you have the right adapters for each threaded barrel. But when it jumps up to a bigger barrel like this, like a 45, it changes threads. You tell them you can shoot a 45 through that 52. Ooh. Now you can shoot a 40 Smith and Wesson through it. All oh, 40 was a 40. I'm sorry. Yeah, through a 10 millimeter, but. I, I failed. I guess we could get some. Should we try some 40 and shoot it through it? It's gonna be quieter, wouldn't it? No, I think it'd be it'd be louder. It'd be louder. It's moving faster. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if we have any 40. Let me go check real quick. We're back. Yeah, we're back. We found it. So I was right. It's moving slower. So this, this is, would be considered subsonic, right? Yeah, 985 feet a second. This is. Uh, I'm not normally right either. So 40 Smith and Wesson, 180 grain, full metal jacket. Let me load one of them things. See what that feels like. We're gonna shoot the. Which one you want to shoot? I guess you can put it in the same mag. I ain't never done this before. Why would you not put, what do you think there's a different mag for it? No, because this one says both. See what I'm dealing with out there? I don't know, everybody knows below what. Everybody else this, is gonna comment and tell us how stupid Yeah, why are. this works and. Yeah, tell us why it works because, I don't know. You gonna load a whole thing through them or not? Nah, I don't have to. Just shoot a few through them. Just to shoot it. You gotta prepare the, it should sound really good coming out of that. Uh, hello, hello point, whatever you want to call it. It's like the Hello Kitty. Strong one, huh? That's enough in here. I'm gonna okay. put one more. What the hell? Okay. So, 
Let's see what it sounds like through the through the high point. It's probably you probably, you're probably, or no? probably not even supposed to do this. It worked. Why would you not supposed to do that? What see, are you talking about? It's quieter. Do it. Definitely quieter. So look. No hearing protection, but. <laughs> Way quieter. But uh, the difference is amazing. Just shoot the steel with them, that's when you can really hear it. Definitely less recoil. Now see how loud it is through the suppressor. When you hit the steel, it's louder. How heavy that gun is. It's kind of locked a little bit on me. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. What's weird though, when you have ears in, when you have ears and you're shooting those things, when you have your earplugs, whatever you all call it out there in gun land, when I have the earplugs in, it, 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 it sounds, because I'm hearing the steel, the steel's louder. I know, the, yeah, I know that, yeah, but I'm saying, I mean, it almost sounds the same when you have ears in. Oh, no, yeah. When you're shooting the guns. When you obviously don't have them in, it's not the same. Yeah. Not even close. So that's the, that's what we wanted to, am I, am I even in the shot here? It's kind of. How do you know if you walk behind yeah, the camera? There we are. It's getting windy again. But we wanted to give our take on it. And um, honestly, I mean, it's a, like I said, for a. Uh, for a throwaway gun. It's yeah. Hard, it, they're hard to beat. A gun you don't care about. We just shot 30 rounds to this thing, uh, suppressed. And I mean, it did completely fine. Um, and then obviously the Glock, you know, the Glock did completely fine too. But uh, you all leave a comment down below. Obviously, what you think about our arguments with that? Like, I'll be, yeah, like Trey, Trey's right with that. Like you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to go to school with Velcro shoes on versus everybody wearing Nikes. You know what I mean? That's that's what it's like going to a shooting range with one of these things. But I guess if somebody break into your house in dark, they don't know what gun shot them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But And also, that's also a, an opinion, too. And also, there's also a lot of people out there that hate Glocks, and they like Smith & Wessons. You know what I mean? So, it's all... Those are people just get on a bandwagon. Well, for you, can't, you can't beat a Glock. For 100, 180 bucks, and it comes with a freaking threaded barrel. So, that Glock would be whatever 600 bucks and you spend another That's 200 be 800 bucks yeah be 800 bucks and i mean for for this thing already to come ready but i mean it, it it's a piece of crap but but you saw it and this is another stupid thing about high points there's no slide release when the mag's in you have to pull the mag out and like that silly and that one mess up right here see the safeties they're That's a little kind of crappy they're a little loosey-goosey on them so you can screw yourself on that. I should a little better. That's what happened when I did that on accident. If you can see that, it's a little loose. They're not tight. But that is our take on the model JXP 10 millimeter. Our take. Yeah. High point. Um, and obviously, we're going to do, leave a comment if you guys want to see different videos on, you know, suppressors. We actually, we're up to uh, five now that we have waited. It seems like it takes about nine months, ten months to get the stamp back on them. So we have five now, so they'll be integrated into the videos, and hopefully we can get a here and there a lawnmower soon for down here. If you guys think we need a lawnmower, yeah, I know it's bothering you guys. The grass is high, you know, at the gun range here. But also leave a comment down down below. If um, it had rained before we come down here, you know we wouldn't be standing here, right? No, we would. It'd wouldn't. be a soupy, muddy, messy. Blah, blah, blah. I'll start over, muddy mess. That's why we need grass. We need grass, bad. But comment down below what your guys' bedside gun is, and uh, also leave a comment down below. Well, comment down below what your gun boat is, or your gun, or your boat gun is. Is that where look? Is that your what you're saying? Yeah, your, yeah, your, your, your gun for your boat. Yeah, your gun for your boat. That one right there. Your gun, your boat carry. It's kind of hard to stay fast. Your gun boat, your boat gun. I actually need to do a whole video on that, but maybe we will. But um, trying to think if there's anything else on here. Is there? Here's what I found. Well, there's your chunk apple. That's what we found. Yeah. But thank you all a ton for support. We appreciate it. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, share this video as much as possible. Uh, Subscribe to the Bell Life Vlogs and Ask the Bell Life and then check us out on BellLife.com where we still do 100% jackass stuff. Stupid stuff. Yeah, but that'll be on the BellLife.com and then shout out to Spider Arms in Alexandria, Kentucky and shout out to uh, Black Rose Firearms up in Monroe, Ohio. 
Um, appreciate you all, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.